Good morning, Sneaker Nom. What's really good, everyone? We are back. Good morning, Breakfast with Delzy, Ali Frazier. What it do? Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones, he's asking right off the bat, am I picking up these questions today? I don't think so. I think I am going to pass on these. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to pass on them. Um, we'll um, actually play a promo real quick just to get into these Reeboks, and then we'll go to the uh, we'll go to these Jordan ones that are releasing today, which will release at 10 o'clock. These shoes will release, but you can actually buy the questions right effing now, and I have them linked in the description, and these things are selling out. They sold out on Reebok's site last night, so if you want them, there's a direct link to Dick's Sporting Goods. You can pick them up, but um, I wanted to share this promo with you that I did, and um, let me know what you think of them. So we'll play this, and then we will get more focused on the Jordan after. We're taking a look at these Halloween-inspired Reebok shoes. You have the kamikazes inspired by the jack-o'-lantern. You have the webs. These are the Shaq Gnosis. And you have these Iversons, which um, are pretty sick, how it, it's got that layered vibe. Um, all of these are really nice. They will be releasing on the 14th at midnight. I will link them in the description box below if you're looking to pick them up. Um, let me know which one is your favorite. I like the Iversons the best, honestly. And then I'll go with the Kamikazes. The Kamikazes, very dope. And then we would go with the uh, Shacks after. But let me know which one you like better. Leave it in the comment box below. Yeah, so let me know which one of those you like the best. I definitely like the Reebok the best. I think the Reebok um, Iverson is the best. But um, the Kamikaze is pretty nice too. But, yeah, I'm passing on all of those. And, yes, definitely hit the thumbs up button. I will actually show my face in a little bit. I have to be by this plug right here to charge up real quick. And then we will go live. Your boy Dells will kick it with you all. Um, Gregory, what's up? Definitely check out yesterday's stream, by the way. Yesterday's stream was pretty crazy. <laughs> I have that pinned in the comment section. Uh, Mr. Jones says that them Jordan 1s are female sizes, right? Yes. So you want to go up a size to a size and a half. You want to go up a size to a size and a half if you're trying to get those. Um and I'm going to go for these. I really like these a lot. I think this is a fire colorway. I think this is a dope shoe to wear during the holidays, too. As I was saying, you can just switch up the laces and throw red laces in there. You got yourself a Christmas sneaker. So I'm definitely going to pick them up. And that's also linked in the description box below for your convenience. So you could definitely go and pick those up if you're looking for them. Um, but, yeah, once again, the Reebok Boktober pack. You want to get now, like right now, because they will sell out. They're, they sold out so fast on that damn website last night on Reebok site. I mean, there's loose sizes available. There are loose sizes available. But for the most part, it's um, it's going, going, gone. That's what it's looking like. I, I don't see those Reeboks sitting today, especially the Iversons. I think the Iverson will sell out extremely fast. Um, but, yeah, with these, as far as sizing, you want to go up a size to a size and a half. Um, I'll show you the size run. Do, is it showing the size run here? No, it's not. Um, let's see. Let's go to my Twitter because I have all the links there. Make sure you follow my Twitter, and we'll um, see right here. And, once again, I have all the links to all this stuff also on my Twitter. I mean, look, these things look pretty awesome, man, I will say. Um, I mean, the background kind of sells the damn sneaker a little bit, would you say? <laughs> I think the background makes me want them more, right? With the skulls and all that dope shit. Like, it really does. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think of them. Leave it in the comments. How do you, how do you feel about this Reebok pack? I do want to know. Give me one second. I'll be right back. You got to give me one minute. Not even. I was on the fence of camming up today. I was like, I don't know if I should or not. 
But I think some of you wanted me to. So I figured why the F not, right? So there we go. Delzy's in full effect. <laughs> Delzy's in full effect. He says the pack is dope. Yes, it's a dope pack, man. It definitely is. So um, let's go over to uh, like Foot Locker or one of these sites. Uh, let's see. That actually shows the sizing. Um, there's the link to finish. I mean, look at the leather on that. The leather on these look really nice. He says, bro, wh what happened to the questions on Reebok site? It's saying, yeah, I think they pushed it back. I don't know why. You know, maybe they um, have more pairs coming. So maybe they distributed the pairs to the other retailers first. But um, right now, you can buy them right, literally right now, you can buy them. I have a link in the description box. It'll take you directly to Dick's Sporting Goods. And you can pick them up there. And, yes, good luck with the greens. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I, I definitely want them. Um, 15 minute warning, less than 15 minute warning. I'm seeing on my my app. So I'm gonna try on the app. I got the um the Paris fours today coming in. So we'll do a review later. And I bought those on the app, like through the phone, not going on the website. So we're gonna stay using the app because I'm I'm having luck with that. Um, but yeah, if you want those those questions, you gotta get on it. Like you gotta get on it. And that's linked in the description box below. I think I have an image of those right here. Yes. Yeah, these are pretty sick. Um, as I said, you know, the imagery, like, is really going to take it home <laughs> as far as trying to get them. Um, let me throw the Reebok direct link right there if you're trying to get the um, the questions right now. I'm sorry, I've, I've had a, a late night. Something happened last minute. And I ended up staying up late. Look at that. Um, look how that's ripped. But yeah, my, I'm like still trying to wake up right now. I'm shot. <laughs> but yeah, I think they could have done a little bit better with how they were, how the design is underneath. Um, they could have put like skull and bones or something like that. Because when I look at this, I think of, of a mummy. That's what I see. I see like a damn mummy. I don't know what you guys see. What did you expect to be underneath here? Uh, the, the design is kind of kind of simple and plain. That's my whole thing about this. Um, it's dope. And if you tear it just a little bit, it's going to look sick. I don't think I would go full-fledged and just tear the shit out of it like they did in this photo right here. I think I'd be a little more creative with it. Or would you just go ham and just rip all that shit off, rip all the canvas right off of the damn thing? Let me know. Um, but, yeah, so there they are. Let's go look for the link to um, – I have a link somewhere here, which will bring me – where the hell is the links to these things? Jesus Christ. Maybe it's on the sneaker addict? Let me check here. Maybe here. Let's see. Let me tweet that. Shit, what am I doing? Retweet. Okay, we got the link. Foot action will show the sizes. Okay, so it goes up to a size 12. So unless you're uh, uh, like a 10 and a half, 11, if you have a real narrow foot, that's where you go. That's as far as you could go with that. E-Dub, what up, man? He says, yeah, I'm going to put them up on dicks from your link. Yeah, I'm, they're going to sell out, man. I mean, it's a fun pair of shoes. It's Halloween, too. You know, and, and everyone wanted to get that Halloween sneaker to rock, right? Uh, so you better be on it if you want them. And and the 24th, um, them releasing it on the 24th, you're flirting with not getting them if you wait for Reebok. You're definitely flirting with not getting them. I mean, I, n I never could understand these brands when they release these shoes that have a concept to them. Remember the Christmas shoes? They've released them the day after Christmas. Remember when Reebok, Reebok used to, I mean, not Reebok, Nike, excuse me, Jesus Christ. Nike <laughs> used to always release sneakers the day after Christmas, like the Christmas pack. You would see LeBron and Kobe and all these guys wearing the sneaker. 
and then they would release them the day after, which I never could understand. The KD's Christmas pack. They release them the day after Christmas. Like, they should always, yes, let's hit me with the road call. I like that. Let me know where everyone's from. Leave that in the comments. I forgot. I know you guys like that. Listen, you got to tell me what you like, and I'm going to deliver. Let's do a quick road call while we're here. Let me know where everyone's from, where you at, because I want to know. What's the best strategy for the lucky greens on Foot Locker? Log in now. Log in right effing now. And um, I would say to open up one page now with the countdown going and then be ready to open up multiple pages. You go to the sneakeratic.com, Nathan, and I have all the links there. So you can literally just click off on all those links at the sneakeraddict.com if you'd like. And it's also linked in the description box. Um, so, you know, good luck. We got San Jose in the building. Boom, boom, boom. What's good? What's good, San Jose, baby? The BX, the Bronx is in the building. Shout out to the Bronx. Shout out to Grand Concourse, Fordham Road, Gun Hill. Boom, boom, boom. What's good? Can't forget Morris Park. <laughs> Shout out to Colorado in the building. Cincinnati, Dallas is in the effing building. Boom, boom, boom. What's good? Yeah. Dallas is definitely in the building two times. Two times. Shout out to everyone up in here. You could be anywhere in the world and you hear with me, and I definitely do appreciate that. For sure, for sure. Are you buying these shoes today? Also, I'm curious to know, is this a cop or a pass? Um, I'm going to go for them. Will I be able to get them? I don't know. I got to pay attention to this time right here. I really got to pay attention to the time. Let's see what we got. We got Arkansas in the effing building right here for sure. Boom, boom, boom. What's good? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I gotta pay attention to the to this time right here. You wear Greg. Greensboro is in the building. Shout out to North Carolina, baby. Boom, boom, boom. What's good? Unless you're from a different Greensboro, I'm sure there's another Greensboro. But I hear Greensboro, I'm thinking North Carolina. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Five minutes. Yeah, I'm looking at my thing. I'm, I'm trying to make sure that um, – trying to make sure I don't miss out on this. So excuse me if there's a little delay in me talking. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. <laughs> yesterday's stream was a wild one. Make sure you watch yesterday's stream. Um, it was craziness. It, it, there was a lot going on. We ended up realizing that a lot of shoes ended up coming from overseas directly to retailers. This is something we learned. Um, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they do. Sometimes there's a rush. They're behind schedule. Nike is going to have the shoes shipped directly to the retailers, Jordan brand too. So it was an interesting stream um, watching what happened yesterday and then figuring out stuff throughout the day, thinking about things. Um, and what I took from yesterday's stream was that basically some of the shoes are getting shipped directly to the retailers from the factories and some aren't um especially if it's a, if they're behind schedule stuff is getting shipped over there and i actually did a little bit of research and i spoke to two different people that work at factories that actually work in factories not sneaker factories 
but they work in other businesses um in these in a furniture business putting together furniture tables chairs um desks and um some may say how well how does that um apply to sneakers well if they work these guys both work at two different um factories because over in um I think actually Greensboro, Greensboro, North Carolina, they do a lot of furniture over there. And I know two people that work at two different factories over there. And I spoke to them both on the phone yesterday and I got some good information on how factories actually work with quality control. So that's actually going to be part of the discussion a little bit later today. Um, we'll definitely talk about that. Let's see. I want two other ones at the end of the month can't decide if i should get these two yeah um i want them i think the leather on these look really nice i'm gonna go for them i i have a funny feeling um that you know i have a funny feeling that these these aren't gonna sell out very quick i know some of you think i'm crazy but i think that people are tapped out on money man we'll see if i'm wrong am i crazy yes i am wrong i am wrong these are going to sell out, man, quick. I'm bugging. Jordan wants it too hype, man. There's no way these things are, are exciting. They're going to sell out so damn fast. So damn fast. Yesterday's stream was dope, but that skinny dude is a old bully. He says, if I was be lit, I would have checked. I mean, it was crazy how how that went down yesterday. Um, it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy, dude. I will say that. I was shocked B lit didn't say nothing, but I guess B lit just ain't trying to get in that lane. He he's not he's not trying to go there, you know, especially on the internet. So. Whatever the case is, they, they talked. I let them do their thing. You know what I mean? That ain't on me. That's on the two of them, guys. Joshua, what's up? What's going on? Oh, wow. I need to get on this real quick. Let's see. Let's get this going. Today's drops. All right. I'm going to go for them. Wish me luck. I wish you all luck. Links are in the description if you're trying to pick these up. And hopefully we get some W's today. Hopefully we get some damn W's today. Give me one second, too. I'm going to play a quick promo just so you have something to watch. Boy, Young Jizzle, nigga, y'all know what it is, man. DJ Dells. Peace, man. What's up, y'all? This is Calvin, and right now you're checking out DJ Dells. Stay in tune with him, all right? DJ Dells, absolutely wonderful. What it do, what it does, the kid. Mr. R.I.P. himself, low so, in case you ain't no so, rocking with DJ Dells. And then with it, y'all, it's your boy, Neighborhood Nip. Big shout out to my homeboy, DJ Dells. No question, Neighborhood Nip. Dells, Red, man, I'm in the building. Let's get it. All right, it says pending still. So we're still pending. <laughs> he says, I thought you were going to Brett. Nah, I'm not getting those questions. I'm not buying those. I'm good on the questions. The sneaker parent, that's right. Oh, got him, dope. <laughs> that's what's up. Did anyone else get them? Anyone catching that W? Let me know. I'm still pending right now. Yeah, I'm still pending. That's what's up. I'm glad someone got them. Glad someone got them. He said no one going for the Iversons. <laughs> the Iversons are dope. I just, I'm good right now. I don't need another Halloween sneaker, to be honest with you, yo. Like, I, I don't need another Halloween sneaker. I got so many Halloween sneakers that I'm good right here. Okay. 
That's what's up. I'm glad you have. I'm glad that that's a beautiful feeling when you catch that W. It's such a pain in the ass to buy sneakers. It's like, and the crazy thing is, we buying these things, right? <laughs> it's not like it's free. Sometimes it may, we feel like, oh, we caught that W. Like, like we won something. We're just buying something, you know. But you know, they don't make enough pairs. There was a time they were making enough pairs. If you look a couple of years ago, these Jordans were sitting. Uh oh, Sneaker Files got him. Dope. Shout out to Sneaker Files. He scored. I'm still pending, so it's not looking good for me. I don't think I, I hit. I, I noticed with Sneakers app, with my experiences, if I land, it's like right away. It'll be like within the first couple of minutes. You know, it'll, it, it'll say, got him. I didn't get him. I don't think I got him, though. No. I'm going for a 12. Might be harder. Um, yeah. I would say so. I would say so. Um, let me try. Let me go on the actual website and try since the app is just uh, sold out. I just look, speaking of the devil, sold out. I could try it again, though. Let's try. It says sold out, but shit, man. I mean, what the hell? It's still letting me add it. Pending. You're in line. I'm in line. I should have tried another size. Let's try another size. Let me let me try another size. Oh God, y'all, it's a wrap. Men's size ten. Maybe I could get those and then do a switcherooski. This shit won't even let me hit it now on the button. What you do? Oh, it says pending. Watch, I'm able to get the size 10, I swear. Everyone getting W's. <laughs> Yo, Sneakers app hates me. For real, dude. Like, it's <laughs> for real. un believable Like, they hate me, Sneakers app. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Please show that love for the morning stream. It's much appreciated, for real. Thank you all for tuning in. I I'm happy to see some of you guys caught them. I'm going to keep it funky with you, though. I didn't need them. I'm not, like, salty and bitter. Uh, but I did want them. That's really where we are. And I'm pending now on a size 10. Let me see what's going on here on the site, um, what they got on this damn site. Yeah. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It is a wrap. We'll go on the site right here. Check it out. See, I'm pending on the app. See, it says pending. Hmm. They're dope, man. These are dope. These are dope kicks. Um, you going to stay with the black laces? You guys going to switch them up? Hit them with the red laces for Christmas? You gonna go with some white laces, some green laces? What it look like? What you guys trying to do here? These are dope though, man. And the thing about these, I keep saying it again and again, the leather on these look really good on this. Look at that leather, man. That leather look nice on these. Look right there by the Wings logo, bong bong. That, that leather look nice. Let me get that damn advertisement out of there. That leather look nice. That's the kind of leather I like. Good morning to everyone. Still pending. No, I'm not getting the air raids, but they are linked in the description box below. Under retail, if you're looking for the air raids, because I did plan on speaking about this today during the stream. They are linked in the description. If you're looking for your pair of air raids, they are in the description with a code to get them for under retail. So don't say Delzy don't got love for you. Red laces, yes. I'm good on those. Would have gotten from my girl, but she didn't like them. Okay, there you go. You just saved money. You don't want them. Your girl didn't want them. That's a good thing. You ain't got. You ain't got to spend no damn money, right? Shit. <laughs> yeah, but the leather on these look nice, man. Look at that. See that cut? That's a nice cut right there. Yeah, I like these. I like these. Tiger Woo. I like these. Yeah, these are dope. 
But um, it looked like Delzy ain't getting these. It's okay. I've been I've been doing all right this year with kicks. I didn't get everything I wanted, but um, I did get a good amount. I want these. We'll see tomorrow, manana. I gotta go to the doctor too for a checkup tomorrow. So hopefully, hopefully everything will be good with Dells. Um, I gotta check my breathing's been a little weird. Someone said I may have COVID. We'll see. Hopefully I don't, but we'll get that checked tomorrow. Who knows? These come out tomorrow, and I want these. Are you going for the sisterhood tomorrow? Nah, I'm, I'm not feeling those for for me personally. I think that, that that's a pretty dope shoe for the females, you know, but but not for me. Guess Nike does QA now. Is, is any of you fellas going for the sisterhoods tomorrow? I know people be buying the men's shoes. Are you guys going for those tomorrow or no? We'll take a look at them real quick. Yeah, to me, I'm good on these. I'm good on these. The ladies could have these. <laughs> these are all y'all, all you right here, ladies. <laughs> it's a pizzazz for me. I'm passing on these right here. Bruce Lee on the 27th. Hmm. I'm, I'm not even looking forward to that release. I'm going to be upset because I know I'm not going to be able to get those. And if I'm able to get those, I'm going to freak out. I will freak the hell out live. You will see me spazzing because I've wanted those shoes for such a long time. If you're a lifer in the channel, you know how much I wanted those shoes. I will freak out. I may, I may um just go crazy. I'm, I literally may go crazy live on here and just spaz out like you've never seen me spaz out before. Um, I will spaz if I hit on those shoes. I will freak out. He said, check your DM. Another designer made a replica Jordan 1. Jesus Christ. It's never going to stop. This is going to be the new thing. And it's not going to stop until Nike cracks down on these people bootlegging their sneakers. You know, it's never going to stop. That's just the truth. But, um, yeah, how do you guys feel about the Nike Air Raids? Are you guys into the Air Raids or not so much? Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. We could do better than that. And don't forget, we do have super chat. Show that love and support. I like the Nike um, Air Raids. But the thing is... I um I never liked them where I, I felt like I had to own these. Um, I've reviewed these shoes probably 10 times between this colorway and other colorways. I did a review on the newest version, the 2020 Retro. I uploaded that yesterday. So if you want to watch the review, if you're curious about this shoe, you're thinking about possibly buying these, you may want to watch that review first so you can see what it looks like. And then from there... Go for it. And once again, I have a code in the description. You get them for under retail. Don't forget, we also have my sneaker addict t-shirts. Pick one of those up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Turn the notifications on um, so you don't miss out on any, any of these. Um, what sizes are left? I don't think any sizes are left. I'll refresh. I have another window open. But I, I think it's a wrap. I really do think it's a wrap. It says I'm still pending. They're, they're all gone. They're all gone. It's not showing me what sizes. Oh, shit. My battery's dying. Okay, that means I have to plug my phone. I mean, not my phone, my computer, which means we got to move over here. Does anyone like the Air Raids? Did anyone buy the Air Raids? Does no one give a damn about the Air Raids? I noticed that the Air Raids sold out really quickly last week on, I think it was Jimmy Jazz's site. And now they seem to be available everywhere now. Marcus, what's up, dude? Yeah, I think it's a wrap on those, Kim. I think so. 
No, I didn't get them. I got one on finish line and one on sneakers. I hit on my phone. Okay, cool. Kind of weird you hitting on your phone, but that's cool. <sighs> Corny joke. <laughs> Sisterhoods come out on the 15th. Fire, okay. People rocking with them sisterhoods. All right. Hey, you like what you like. Let's get those out of here. No one gives a damn about the air raid in this stream. Um, are we excited about these coming back out on the 16th or people could care less about these? Um, or are you just buy, trying to buy these for the flip? Is this all about the flip? I know some of y'all just want that money. Keep it a buck. Are you just trying to get that flip, that quick cash for that ace? He says, I'm going to get them when they're at the outlets. The Air Raids, yeah. Air Raids get no love. Oh, yeah, they get. There was some hype, like, for two weeks, and now they're just sitting now. Now you can get them for retail. I went to um, a Foot Locker the other day. And they had a full size run. He said, Man, we've had these for like four days. Not one person wanted to buy these. I was like, damn. Thank you. Thank you, by the way. Appreciate that you hit the thumbs up. I didn't like the air raids from back in the days, and I don't like them now. <laughs> oh man. Another L I'll have to eat. Hey, what are you gonna do, man? He says the Union Fours are dog poop. Okay. Hey, you like what you like. As I say, you like what you like. Not everything is for everyone. Not everything is for everyone. When does the Bo Jacksons come out? I don't think Bo Jacksons are, are scheduled to release this year, are they? I didn't hear about that. You know what I keep waiting for is the damn Air um, the Air Max 90 Infrareds. I thought the Air Max 90 Infrareds were coming out. They never came back out, which I cannot understand. Why the hell did those not come back out? Um, there was rumors that the Air Max 95 was supposed to come out also. Where the hell are those? Where are those, right? There's a lot of shoes that I keep hearing were supposed to come out that we have not seen any leaked images, no nothing. No nothing. Oh, we got another colorway of, of these crazy sneakers for $500 coming out. These joints look like they're going to they gonna move itself, right? Like it's a tank and, and it's just going to move you. You don't even have to walk. That's what I see when I see these. Uh, Road Warrior is definitely an appropriate name for this shoe. Look at that outsole. So what did they? Wasn't there a camel toe on this? Or they they remove? Oh yeah, there's the camel toe. There she is. There she is. Okay. All right. That's good news then, Mo. Got him. Another W up in here. <laughs> Tony Montana. <laughs> black and gold, that's November. Those black and gold joints. Yep, those those um have the old pattern leather. And um, they look pretty good. I think, actually, it may not have all pan leather. Excuse me, actually. I haven't looked at those in a while. Is anyone going to buy these camel toe joints? Or no, we passing on them. $500 is a whole lot of money. For $500, this better wash, but, like, come with, like, three free car washes and vacuum. It better come with something extra, not just this shit. Like for $500, what would you want this to come with? At least a dinner and lunch, right? Before reaming me from behind, right? 
five hundred effing dollars for this damn sneaker. I mean, auto lace. I can understand it being expensive. The shit, <laughs> it, it, you know, like will this thing, if you press a button, do some crazy, like like just drive on its own? Should it, it should come with like an app where you could just like use it as like a remote control car? You know what I mean? You just throw them on your feet and you just are rolling, like them hoverboards. Five hundred dollars for this? Never will I buy these for five hundred dollars. Never, ever, ever. Yes, I still have those young Jeezy um, Adidas. I do have those. And everything is for sale. Everything is for sale. For the high. For the high. Not for the low. For the high. Call me a dick. Listen, I don't want to get rid of my shoes, but everything is for sale. For the high. So every what I'm basically saying is every man has a price. Everyone's got a price, like the million dollar man says. So, like, you know, people will offer some people have offered me, you know, money for shoes. I can't refuse. I cannot refuse to um, say no to. At the end of the day, cash rules everything around me. I got to keep these lights on and more. It looked like an effing sled. <laughs> so, I'm saying, man, for $500, it's better to do more than just. Go on my feet and give me some comfort. Like, what is what is so spectacular about this? I know it has the technology, but five hundred dollars. Look, you could spend like three fifty and get some that does the auto laces. They got some tricks to it, right? Like these joints right here. These do the auto lacing, and these come out on the twenty first. I'm actually glad that I didn't get those because you know I got to chill out. I'm buying too many sneakers lately. These I want. I'm going for these shits. I will be going for these. These are fire. Now you see these, these are going for 350 $150 less. And at least, you know, you, you press a couple of buttons. It's going to do the auto lace. Right? See, $350, I'm not mad at this price. Some people may be like, yo, hell no. But look, you're buying the Kanye West sneakers for what? $300? Them shits don't auto lace. These auto lace. So I can understand that. You know? That's my favorite shoe you have. Dope, bro. Yeah, I love that's a really underrated sneaker, and, and not too many people have those young Jeezy Adidas superstars. You gotta check the review on that, guys. He said the best bet they made across the water. I wonder if they made those across the water. These um crazy looking road, what's it, road warrior shoes? Yeah, road warrior shoes. Where the hell did they go? Where are you? There you are. Yeah, I wonder if they have the fagazies of this. And once again, yesterday's stream, we went into crazy conversation about the fagazies and everything. Um, it was a good show yesterday, so watch that one. And if anyone wants to cam up, feel free to. There's a link in the description box. And if you want me to stay longer, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and send over a super chat. Show some love. We going hard, full time over here, baby. Let's see what else is going on in sneakers. Let's go to sneakeradic.com. Why is that not working? What the hell? Okay. That's weird. Okay. Let's check out the sneaker addicts. There we go. So yeah, I'm gonna, I should be having a review on these later today, by the way, guys. See, there they are. I need these. I really need these. Like, really need these. This shoe, I have got to have. 
I have got to have these, like 100%. I will be upset if I don't get these. Like, no lie, I will be upset if I, if I don't get these. I will be upset. We also, by the way, did a review on those Air Jordan 12s, the Dark Concords. Check out the review on those. These were pretty dope. I'm going to get me a pair of LeBron 18 soon. And then these tomorrow. Oh, we'll see. We shall see. No one care about them Yeezys. I don't think anyone gives a damn about them damn Yeezys, right? I don't know why my shit is fucking up like this. Okay. These Yeezys I actually like. The Suns. These should be releasing next year. I like this one. How do you guys feel about these right here? Hot or not? Is the colorway a little too crazy? I know um, some people were saying, I think Ali was saying that uh, he wishes that the upper wasn't that yellow. I think if it was gray, it would be dope. But then, I don't know. I think some people are going to like this colorway. Because it's a wild ass looking colorway. That's for sure. Let me know what you all think about these. And these will release next year. Next year. And I think these go for like three. I think they go for 350, if I'm not mistaken, or 325, the these um 700s. No, I didn't I didn't put a price on those. We did a video recently, too. Watch it on YouTube. Top 10 Air Jordan sneakers that everyone wants to come back. Definitely watch that video. It was really a good one. We did a great video on these, too. Um, I like these shoes. I'm ready for these. With that reflective, they're going to be crazy. These joints are going to be crazy. I don't think malls will get them. I think very few retailers may get them, but I mean very few retailers will get those Kobe's. Like very, very few. Carbons. We also did a review recently on the Sneakerhead show. Watch that video too. These joints are out still. I, I wasn't the biggest fan of this one right here. Too much. It's just too much going on. I'm good on that shit. I really still want these Boba Fett ones too. These were sick. The Boba Fett's were fire. I really wanted those Boba Fett's. Wish I was able to get those. That, this is a sneaker that I wanted this year that I struck out on. That I was like, I was pissed. I was trying to buy them in the car while I was going out of town. No luck. These I wanted too. A lot of people said they didn't like these. But they sold out so fast. I, I like them. These keep restocking this women's exclusive. These joints were dope. Now we're just getting into some old news now, I think. We'll go another page over. Yeah, we're getting old now. Michigan's. Another dope video. Make sure you check out Kobe vs. LeBron. We showed like some of the best Kobe shoes on feet versus some of the best LeBron shoes on feet. It was a great stream. The Pip Hairs. These are fire shoes. I like that blue metallic on these. I think that these got um, overlooked. I just got them. Get them on Dick's Sporting Goods, dummies. <laughs> okay, let's try. Shit. Shit, I'm a dummy. All right, let me see. <laughs> Let's see if the dummy can get him at Dick's Sporting Goods. We'll see. I'm going to go on the site right now.
I don't see them. I'm trying to get them on there. I don't even think they're on Dick's Sporting Goods, dummy. Are they? Sneaker release is not. Oh, yeah, it's got to be on women's. Dummy. They're not even on Dick's Sporting Goods. You jamoke. <laughs> They're not even on there, bro. Come on. What are you doing to us? This guy trolling. Yeah, you, you were successful. Let's see. Launched. They're not even on here, dude. What are you talking about? See? Sneak launched. These are up. Man, you trolled us. Successful troll, I must say. You were a success. These joints are still available now. You can get them, by the way. He got us. Zach got me. He's a troll. Okay. <laughs> hey, listen, I, I appreciate a good troll like that. That was good. Salute to Zach. He got me. Shit. <laughs> that was good. That was a good one. <laughs> oh, man. Let me try finish line. You can tell I'm not so crazy, like, where I need these. You see the energy. I'm not, I'm not like, tight about not getting them. I'm chilling. I'm so just chilling right now. If y'all want me to stay up in here, give me a fire emoji in the comment section. And if you are a member, put some of uh, the bong emojis in there. And we'll hang out a little bit longer. I don't know if you guys um, want me to talk about anything, but feel free to mention that in the chat, in the comments. And we will get into that, definitely. Let me just uh, see if there's anything else that we can talk about as far as upcoming sneakers. Um, oh, you know, another thing I want to speak about. There we go. I knew there was something else I want to speak about. So I noticed on GOAT, I bought the Lakers 7s, the LeBron Media Day 7s. I bought them right after they won the championship. I said, I got to get these shits because I was planning on getting them. And um, what happened was I basically just kept like pushing back on them. Like, ah, maybe they'll go down on price. But then I thought, okay, it's now or never. They're going to go up in price. I noticed today in GOAT, they have gone down in price. So they're actually even cheaper. Why do you think that they went down in price? Do you think they went down because of that restock? But you can't just, I don't think you can, as soon as you hit on the restock, put them up on GOAT, or can you? I've never sold on GOAT. You think that maybe people are beginning to sell fakes out there? What, what do you think the deal is? Why, would, why did the price drop about $30? I bought them when they were at 275 and then I looked this morning they were on the site for 250. Why do you think the price even dropped lower? You think that people are submitting fake shoes? Do you think that maybe Foot Locker has inventory that they give they gave, excuse me, give gave to goat? Why do you think this happened? This is all just ideas. I'm not saying this is factual. But I'm curious to hear your opinions on that. Why did the price go down? The Lakers just won the effing championship i don't understand that these are the new upcoming silver joints silver toes by the way women's exclusive 2021 releasing on the 12th of february 170 dollars is retail let me know what you guys think of these right here Ladies, too, of course. Shit, it's a woman's sneaker. I probably lost the 6% talking about camel toe earlier of my women following through my analytics, but that's okay. 
Oh man, we love the ladies though. <laughs> oh man. Salute to everyone in the chat. Salute to everyone on the playback. If you watch it on the playback, leave in the comments pizza party. That means that I know you watched on the playback. Randy Watson is in the building. Caught that W too. Wow. Good for you, man. What do you think of these? And let me ask you another question to add on top of this. You think these are better than the Tokyos? The Tokyos that just released recently. I like these better than the Tokyos. It's a little more broken up. I'll take these over the Tokyos all day. Call me crazy. Won't be the first. I think these are way better than the Tokyos. Tokyos too much silver, man. It's that Cinderella sneaker, man. A little too feminine for me. But hey, if you like them, you like them. Yeah, they did another release on the media days. They did that restock. Um, so they went down. Yeah, I, I agree they will go back up. Um, but it's just interesting. Even if they did that restock, how many shoes were actually restocked? Because we, we never really put that in perspective. How many effing shoes were actually restocked? Yeah, these are way better than the Tokyos. Way better. Tokyo's all silver. Who? I'm not wearing a damn silver sneaker right now. Get out of here. I don't think I've not not a Jordan one. A Jordan one forms your feet like so tight. You know what I mean? So it, it, it's a little too feminine for me, man. I, I wear like the pewter foam posits, something like that, like a, a silver foam posit. The foam posit's a tough looking pair of sneakers. You got a old a whole silver sneaker. I got them, and I didn't. I was like, eh. I actually sold them shits. I sold my my Tokyos, and I made some money off of them. Yes, it's a new Dells. It's a new day and age. I am reselling my sneakers. I am selling them for the high, not for the low. We got bills to pay. I'm not buying every shoe at the retailer. I'm not going and buying eight pairs of FN Jordans and, and, and buying them, taking them away from everyone else. But if I have a pair of shoes, I don't want them. I'm reselling them hoes. And I will be reselling them for the high, not for the low. I ain't rich. I am not rich. I can't see that happening. I can't. I really can't see that happening in Sneaker Hub. Collaboration with Crocs and Nike. But hey, in 2020, anything is possible. And believe me, 2021 is going to be crazier than 2020. So hide your wife, hide your kids, because it's about to get crazy next year. Everyone keeps saying, oh, I can't wait for 2020 to be over. Man, it's going to get worse next year. I'm telling you now. My friend works at the doctor's office. She's saying everyone's getting sick over there again. I'm telling you, things are getting crazy. Be careful. Don't be prancing around thinking that this COVID thing's over, because it's the weather's changing. People about to start getting sick again. And people getting cozy again. So be careful out there. He says it's all a marketing strategy. Yep, it sure is. They feed you a lot. They'll feed you a little. Then they feed you a little more. Then they'll, they'll feed you barely anything and make you think it's a full-blown meal. Like with these restocks. Oh, there's a restock. You seen what they did last week, all these Jordan restocks. How many did they actually release, though, you know? We don't know the numbers. No, I didn't cop the Lucky 13. I passed on those. They just, they were nice, but they weren't doing it for me. I wasn't going ham. Like, I have to get these. Like, it's a must. I, I was not there. I'm talking about silver shoes. The... 
This broken down, I like this. This too, this is dope to me. Silver foam pods, I mean, that looked like steel right there. Right? It looked like a metal effing sneaker. I like these. I could get down with these. These are releasing on the 29th, by the way, guys. So right before Halloween. So basically, the only way you're going to get these is if you go to the store and buy them for Halloween. But I don't see this and say Halloween. Do you look at I mean, you kind of can with the orange, but you could wear this after Halloween. That's what I'm saying. But I like these phone posits. I think these phone posits are hot. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely want to know. Bear with me one second. I got to check on something. Boy, Young Jizzle, nigga, y'all know what it is, man. DJ Dales. Peace, man. What's up, y'all? This is Calvin, and right now you're checking out DJ Dales. Stay in tune with him, all right? DJ Dales, absolutely wonderful. What it do, what it does, kids. R.I.P. himself, low so, in case you ain't no so rockin' with DJ Dales. And with it, y'all, it's your boy, Neighborhood Nip. Big shout out to my homeboy, DJ Dales. No question, Neighborhood Nip. Dales, Red, man, I'm in the building. Let's get it. All right, just need to check on a few teams right here. Um, yesterday, yeah, those Crocs with Justin Bieber released also, which um, are reselling for a little bit of money. We should probably check that out, see how much those are reselling for. Let me dig up that, and we'll take a look at them real quickly. Look. I love, I love Crocs, but I got a JB Justin Bieber collab. With Crocs, look what I just got. <laughs> Did you get yours? <laughs> Cause I got mine. Shout out my brother Justin Bieber, man. Brother for life. Justin Bieber and Crocs collab. Okay. So the Justin Bieber croc is really not selling for a lot of money versus the Bad Bunnies are selling for like $300. These are only reselling for about $100, $150 best off. Look, um, the second one, $100 or best offer. So you know you can get them for under retail, these right here. You know what I'm saying? So if the second one you get for that price, I mean, well, it's a men's six too. That's the problem too. I guess. But look, even these size 11, size, um, $119, $95 are best offer free shipping, size 10. Oh, well, I see what it is. It's actually an eight women's size 10, excuse me. Size nine, 174 bucks. Size 10, $150. Tell you, man, these Crocs are going for some money, man. Believe it or not. People buying these Crocs for the flip. It's clear as day. It's clear as day. People buying these for the flip. 100%. Um, they don't cost a lot of money to get your hands on them. So, like, why not, right? That's what a lot of people are thinking. Why the hell not? I did a review on these phone pods. It's releasing tomorrow. Um, watch the review on these. Uh, this shoe is spectacular in person. This is a really dope pair of kicks. Um, I'm a little curious to see how this performs tomorrow. Will it sell out or not? I'm, I'm really curious to see how this one performs, if it is actually going to sell out. Definitely curious. And also, we will take a look at this right here. Um, which is some big ass news. And um, I'm excited about this one because I didn't get them when they originally released because um, I struck out. And these are supposed to be releasing spring 2021. Uh, these are something special, man. The Miami Knights 
LeBron Woe. I never thought I would live to see these retro. I never thought these would retro. You know, when, when these LeBrons first came out, I never realized that, you know, one day these will actually retro. Dude, I'm telling people, the links are in the description. Buy your pair. If you want them, buy them. You see what Jay is saying? They're going to sell out. They will sell out. Matter of fact, let's show a quick promo just so you can see them one time. We're taking a look at these Halloween-inspired Reebok shoes. You have the kamikazes inspired by the jack-o'-lantern. You have the webs. These are the Shaq Gnosis. And you have these Iversons, which um, are pretty sick. How it, it's got that layered vibe. Um, all of these are really nice. They will be releasing on the 14th at midnight. I will link them in the description box below if you're looking to pick them up. Um, let me know which one is your favorite. I like the Iversons the best, honestly. And then I'll go with the Kamikazes. The Kamikazes, very dope. And then we would go with the uh, Shacks after. But let me know. Yeah, so if you guys want those, you got to go right now and get them. I'm not even kidding. Like, literally go in the description and look and click the link and cop them. Because they're going. They are selling out. He says, I trust no man that wears a size six. <laughs> hey, be nice. Could be a little person, man. Little people are cool, too. They're selling for $100 over retail. On StockX. Okay, that's good intel. Charles, aloha, my friend. He says, yes, I missed these back in the days, the Miami Knights. Yeah, man. I really uh, wish that I got those back then. Like, I was really annoyed. That This was a, a shoe I really wanted badly. Um, I remember it like yesterday. I remember it like yesterday. But I had I had good days, man, with the LeBrons, you know. I I was able to cop some real heaters. The big bangs I was able to get, the South Beaches, the Miami Vices. Uh, I got some pretty nice LeBrons, I will say that. I definitely do. And shout out to Charles, Patreon member and also a member of the YouTube Sneaker Addict. Love it. Let's see what else we got here. I know there's another shoe I wanted to take a look at. Oh, you know, another video I did. I did do a review on these. And these keep getting pushed back. I don't know why. You know, I know what the problem is. YouTube ain't notifying you guys. But I did a review on this shoe. These mids. Well, they will release on the 13th, these mids. So definitely, if you want to see a review on it, I have it. And it's a retail pair. We do retail pairs here, guys. Over 2K? Really? That's how much they're reselling for? Wow. So people are sick that, they ain't able, that, that they're coming back out, basically. <laughs> you know, man, people are selling their pair right now. I'm about to sell all of my sample sneakers because of the fact that with these samples, they're bringing them all back. Like the Pantone 14 I have, the Pantone, Pantone 14, that's just going to release, man. You know, 14s are selling out. So I'd be a real idiot to keep that sneaker right now. So I'm going to be selling my Pantone 14. Anyone want to buy him, you can DM me, but you got to come with some big money. Don't be coming at me with some little money. You cannot come at me with little money with that. That shoe is, um, people collect samples too. Some people don't care if they come back out. They collect the samples. It's getting close to Christmas. I got a lot of presents to buy. So <laughs> it's about to be that time. I'm selling my, um, my Yeezys too. Size nine. Big money, though. I'm selling for the high. That's my new shit. We selling them for the high. Not for the low. For the high. 
Oh man. All right, guys. I'm gonna do the one uh one minute warning, two minute warning. If um a super chat comes in or a cash app question, we will stay longer. If not, we're gonna break up out of here. I think it's time to be out. Big perm in the building, walking in. Shout out to you. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Guys, ladies, make sure that you please follow my Twitter. Because if I find out about a restock, oh, you got the W. Shout out to Chaotic Kicks. Dope, bro. Follow my Twitter. I'm always posting great deals. I'm always posting about restocks. You need to follow my Twitter. It's very important. DJ Dells is my Twitter. My Instagram is real DJ Dells. Follow that. Um, I don't know how much I'm selling the Jeezys for. I got to look to see how much they're worth. And then from there, we can see. Um, but I really don't want to sell them, to be honest with you. So I'm going to ask for more than people are asking for. I don't really want to sell those. Um, but as I said, everything has a price. Million dollar man talk. Just like my Red Octobers, I really don't want to sell them. But if someone comes with a crazy number, I'm going to sell them shits. Just like my Pantone 14 sample. Someone come with a crazy number, I'm going to sell them. How could I not? Because they're bringing everything back. They're bringing back everything. They're bringing back shoes I thought would never come out. Look, they released those LeBron PEs beginning of the year. I never thought I would own those. I have a YouTube video with me and Mayor, and I'm literally drooling over them. You can watch the video. Search DJ Dell's Mayor. And this was when Mayor was big before he lost all that weight. Big, big. Um, and when I tell you, man, I love those shoes. I want these to come out. I really want these to come out. I would love these to come out. I would really, really go crazy if these came out. I think they will. They'll do a championship pack with these. I would hope they would. Need the golds. Watch the review. I did the review on those. Definitely watch the review. But, I, yeah, I hope these come out. I, I really, really like these. And then, you know, November is right around the corner. This is going to be very exciting, man. We did a video checking out all of these kicks, which was really dope. We got a lot of great videos you guys got to check out. We did a video on these joints. <laughs> uh, let's see. Should have a review on these later today. They should be coming very soon. They should be coming to my doorstep really soon. But, chat, man, I hope you all have a great day. Hit the thumbs up button on your way out. And um, thank you all for tuning in to today's show. We went an hour and 13 minutes. I think we good right here. I'll be back later. Oh, and I have two reviews coming this week. I have a review um, courtesy of my boy Charles, something really crazy, which I, can't, I will be wearing those like crazy when I get those. Um, shout out to Charles. Charles is Man, one of my biggest supporters, and I really appreciate you, man. I don't know why you like me so much, but I do appreciate you, man, for real. <laughs> I do appreciate you. And everyone have a great day. Um, he says, it's crazy how uh, Mayor sold the sneaker collection. Look, the sneaker market is high right now. It's up. Now is the time to sell your sneakers. If you're trying to cut down on your sneaker collection – Now's the time to sell them. Mayor's a smart guy. He's not a stupid man. Um, and now is the time to sell them. Definitely. If you're thinking about trimming down your sneaker collection, go now and do that shit. Because later on, these shits are going to go back down in price. It's only, I, I give it a couple more years and shit is not going to be as hype anymore. This goes, this is how it works with sneakers, man. I've been doing this for way too long. It gets really exciting. Everyone wants to buy everything. Then it slows down. Then it rises back up. Then it slows back down. Before you know, you're going to be able to buy Jordans for under retail. So if you're looking to sell your shoes, you better sell them now. I'm telling you now, get rid of them now. Get rid of them now. Don't wait. 
Don't ever wait. But I'm telling you now, everyone want to buy sneakers now. Everyone and their mama want to buy shoes now. Everyone. So that's why I'm, you know, I do my best to try to sell my a few pairs here and there. I, I had a goal to sell a pair of shoes every week, but I, I haven't been following that goal. Um, but I have in this this year, I've probably sold about 20 pairs of shoes, which is a big deal for me because I don't really sell sneakers, but I'm trimming the fat. I got to trim the fat. I need to hit this damn treadmill and trim the fat. My ass is getting fat. Err. <laughs> but yeah, man, look out for the review on these and also make sure to turn the notifications on by ringing that bell. Definitely. Um, it is always appreciated. If you enjoyed this video, feel free also to send me a cash app at Real DJ Dells, a PayPal. You have a question, we'll address it on the next show. And I, I know not everyone is able to catch the live streams. Heads are working right now, you know? Heads are out working. They don't got time right now to watch this shit. They watch it later. That's why you'll notice the view count is a lot higher than what how many people are in here. So um, if you want to show that love, Real DJ Dells, it's, that's how it's written. It's over there in the bottom left-hand corner. And um, please leave a name, a question, and we'll talk about it in the next stream. I'm very on point about that. I always am good about that. Everyone have a great, great day today. Stay positive. And um, I'll go live tomorrow. I'll give you guys an update on my doctor's visit. Hopefully I'm not sick. Hopefully I don't have COVID or anything like that. That would be horrible. Um. We'll see. I think a lot of us carry this COVID, though. I'm going to be honest with you. I really do. I just think that not everyone, is, it's affecting them. Uh, it's funny how I say I'm leaving about an, a half an hour ago and I'm still here. because I just always, I'm talking, 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 talking. And um, don't forget, too, we do have that join where you can join and you get the bonus emojis, bonus content, a ton of stuff. So definitely check all that out, too. Great day. Everyone, I hope you have. I felt I just said that like I was Yoda. It's all good. We out of here. Love y'all. Oh, and by the way, watch the new reviews too. Don't forget, watch the new reviews for real. We out. We out of here.